Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. With the holidays just around the corner, I'm so excited to share with you my top recommendations for fragrance gift ideas. So this is the women's edition. I'm gonna have a men's video coming out separately. So if you guys like fragrances and you like watching fragrance videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, let's get started so i have about 10 fragrances here some of them are honorable mentions because they've already been reviewed so many times and so well that i don't really have anything new to offer with them but i have a few other ones that i want to recommend that are not as often mentioned so really quickly with the honorable mentions um coco mademoiselle this one is gorgeous. It's citrus, rose, patchouli. It's a beautiful patchouli. People who don't like patchouli still like it. People who don't like rose still like it. People who don't like citrus still like it. So really, you can't go wrong. It's suitable for everyone. All of the fragrances I'm gonna talk about today are very versatile. They're pretty much suitable for every age, every occasion, and are like overall crowd pleasers, but they're all very unique so they would make amazing gifts like it's n i'm not like suggesting anything generic here i want to honestly give you guys a suggestion that is something that will be appreciated and something that's really unique and lovely um so yeah coco mademoiselle honorable mention amazing you cannot go wrong with this one the next ones are Guerlain Mon Guerlain. So this is the original and this is the Bloom of Rose Flanker. They are both beautiful, predominantly vanilla and lavender. This one has a little bit more rose, a little bit more tonka. I find this one's a little bit more unique, but I wear them both equally. Very appropriate for work, for going out, for snuggling at home, like literally any occasion. These are great. Very feminine and classy, very like smooth and refined. They're great. Like amazing fragrances so these amazing gift ideas you cannot go wrong the next one is my personal recommendation and i'll go into a little bit more detail with this this is chanel number no. five low so this is the eau de toilette and it's the newer kind of uh, modern spin-off of the original number no. five and i love this even though i really don't like the original number no. five this has different aldehydes in it so aldehydes are the thing in the fragrance that make it like soapy and bubbly and give it that like clean laundryish soapy essence it's an effervescent kind of component that a fragrance has that smells like imagine smelling mineral water like sparkling water with those bubbles like imagine that in a fragrance that's what this one is like with some added citrus and it's just beautiful it's so sophisticated it's so elegant and feminine but at the same time strong like it really has a presence even though it's not an overpowering fragrance like this one for me i love to wear to work when i have something important like a meeting or uh, with a new client or anything that where i need to feel assertive this one for me is the go-to it's suitable for anyone i would say 25 plus for this one just because it is a touch classic but it's so light and fresh and yeah like amazing this one i think it's about 170 for a 100 ml bottle that's canadian dollars so i'm gonna try to remember to mention the price points of these but if i don't i'm sorry and uh if i do forget please leave a comment below if you guys know and let me know the prices and let everybody else know too because i messed up so my next one is burberry her intense and this one is like a very rich creamy berry fragrance it's got resins in there like um a benzoin and it just it's very like rich and sweet so this is for somebody who likes their fragrances a touch on the sweeter side but it's not too sweet like it's leading a bit gourmand but for me as someone who doesn't like gourmand fragrances and gourmand very quickly for those of you who aren't familiar with the term is like something that smells like it's edible like a foodie like type of fragrance where like a lot of chocolatey ones will be called gourmands a lot of like like fruity ones can be gourmands this one is leaning gourmand but it's not quite there um 
I adore it. I've been wearing it for the last few weeks and I've loved every moment. It's so cozy but sexy at the same time. And now that we're actually getting snow here, like the imagery that I have in my mind smelling this is like it's snowing outside and I'm inside snuggling by the fire and like eating berries with whipped cream. And it's just like, it's just sweet and sexy and cozy and again, suitable for anyone. I think for any time of year, even though now I'm enjoying it in the colder months, um, yeah, any time of year for anyone really, it's beautiful. And this one too, I think is like about 160 or so, 150 or 160 Canadian. This is the 100 mil. And the next one came as a surprise to me. This one I just stumbled upon in Sephora and this is Kat Von D Saint. So this is on sale. I think you can still get this. So if you get on it quick, you can probably still get this. And it was 51 Canadian dollars for the 50 mil and it came with like a little lipstick. So it's so like, it's fresh floral. It's very like airy and light, but it's got some like uniqueness to it. It's, it's like imagine walking through like blooming fruit trees in the springtime and you just washed your hair and you can smell the shampoo a little bit mixed with all that and the breeziness. It's just like, like, it's an all around crowd pleaser. Like whoever gets this, like it, maybe it's not the most unique and out there fragrance, but it's lovely and it's very, very likable. And whoever gets this will definitely wear it. Like I love it. You can't overspray this either. Like I really don't think you can overspray this because it's quite light and um, it, it's not offensive in any way. So this is lovely. The next is Narciso Rodriguez for her and this is the EDT and this is a minimalistic musk type fragrance so it's mostly musk with some white florals in the background and it's very like it's got a little bit of like a sharpness to it where it's almost a touch masculine but super elegant like I imagine someone like in a black wool coat with their makeup done right and like or going out somewhere like wearing this fragrance it's it's very, very sophisticated and classy, but just minimalistic enough to be suitable for really any time. Like, if, and this one's not as sweet. The other one I have from Narciso is Narciso by Narciso Rodriguez. So this one I only have in the mini, but the full bottle comes in that white square bottle. And this one's like a sweeter musk. So this one is like, it's also musk and white floral. They're both minimalistic. They're both very appealing. But this one to me smells like just a clean, Swedish kind of musk. And um, they're both incredible. So again, you can't go wrong with either of those. You can't go wrong with any of these. I know I keep saying that and it's probably super annoying, but like you really can't go wrong. And I'm going to try to avoid saying that again. The next one I have is Juliet has a gun. <laughs> Every video I drop something. This is like my signature. Um, yeah, Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. And this is a molecule based fragrance. It has ambroxan in it. And ambroxan, um, it just has like a fuzzy, almost like a fuzzy smell where it's like a musky, a little bit sweet, but it's not a musk. It's like a, it's just like a beautiful aura around you. Like wearing this, it projects like crazy, by the way. Like I get compliments on this one all the time and it just smells good. Like people say, oh, you smell good. Nobody says, what are you wearing? They're like, oh my God, you smell so good. Um, because it just smells like you're clean and you smell good. And like, you just have this beautiful glowing aura around you. Um, that's what this fragrance is and the great thing about it is you can easily layer it with anything and it just kind of like amps everything up and makes it better so this one as well I think you can find it online for like a hundred dollars Canadian for like a hundred mil bottle incredible the next one is Ralph Lauren woman I believe this is a newer release like you guys check out this bottle first of all it's like a zippo lighter isn't that fun it's so fun I just play with this, like I can just play with this all day um, or like a flask. It's pretty cool. Um, this one's sweeter. So this is also, this is like a lighter sweet one, whereas the Burberry Her Intense is a heavier one, like like a more cozier one. This is more of like a, like a fresh, like almost like a fruity floral, but it's got some uniqueness to it. So it's predominantly like a bubblegum tuberose and it has pear and it has black currant and like a few other supporting notes, but those are the main ones that I can smell. 
and it's just delicious like it's just lovely and youthful and uplifting and suitable for anyone any age any time of year um i think i actually got this online for $60 on one of the online retailers. So I'll try to link things below for you. But yeah, this is incredible as well. And the last one that I have is a little bit higher up on the price scale and it is by Rito Blanche. And this one smells like just clean laundry, fresh out of the dryer. It has that dryer sheet smell. This is predominantly aldehydes as well. Like, so as I mentioned, like that sparkling clean laundry smell, that's, this is basically like, all aldehydes i think maybe it's like some musk and like some other small supporting notes but notoriously just a laundry smell and like who doesn't want to smell like clean laundry this smells like if you just took all your clean laundry fresh out of the dryer and hung it out to dry on a spring day and the breeze is coming through and it's just so like it's just like uplifting and fresh and lovely um and this is this one's up there like you have to really like your person that you're getting this for because i think it's like to like $200 for this, something like that. Um, but it's amazing. Like really anybody wants to smell clean. If you really don't know, just go for this because it's so like, and it's unique, you know, like you think, oh, like laundry, whatever, like it's lame. It's like, who, who cares? Like laundry, but no, it's got something special in it that like when you smell it, you'll know exactly what I mean. It's really, really nice. So those are my top picks for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I hope whoever you get these gifts for absolutely love them. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.